Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine board game videos. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and today is again holding on the troubled life of Billy Care. Today we're going to take a look at the scenarios. We are, remember, for this game we are nurses who are looking after Billy Care in his last few days of his life. And we need to gain his trust and give him the palliative and the medical care needed for him to be able to tell us enough about his life and we can help him uh, get over the three regrets that's plaguing his life. Now, this game is played throughout 10 scenarios that are fully replayable, but each one's going to give you a little bit more about the life of Billy Kerr. So yes, playing it for the second time will bring no surprises, but boy, playing them for the first time, they do, do indeed. Now. This is the first scenario. The first scenario is basically one just to teach you the basics of the game and each one of these scenarios is going to depend the rules. It's going to give you specific rules and set up for each uh, stage of your relationship with Billy Kerr. Every scenario starts with this blue card. Now you have to be very careful. Do not turn them around until told so. Otherwise you will be reading the outcome and that kind of defeats the purpose of the game, which is really cool. Uh, not defeating the purpose of the game, but the purpose of the game itself. Anyway, one of the cards, uh, it will tell you, well, it's the introduction, uh, and it tells you a little bit, you know, who is Billy in this particular case, and that card will come here. Then you have a setup, rules card, that will come on top of it, and this card is the card that's going to tell you, well, this is what you have to do, you know, these are the icons you need, or this is how many uh, care tokens you start with, or this is uh, the cards that you're going to need to play this time, etc., etc. And then you get your objective. So in the first, for example, um, in the first um, scenario, uh, players must have at least one clear memory in each timeline, from one to five, of Billy's collected memories. Billy has five different timelines that you will put down here and uh, it has a, it's a, um, it's a tiling of six by five. Those are the partial memories and then you put on top of them you put the total memories. For this particular scenario you need to have one clear memory per timeline. So you have to talk a lot with Billy. That's all you have to do. In other scenarios, then you have to do more things like calling his family, finding out about specific events, other stuff. I don't want to say too much. What's the cool thing about these scenarios? That they surprise you. They really, really do. They tell you, they tell you things you were not expecting. And one of the cool things about this game is that the relationship between the memory cards and the scenario although it matches perfectly, but it's not the same at all. So you might get an idea based on the partial memories and the clear memories, but then these cards are the ones that are going to tell you, yeah, what you thought you knew, it's not necessarily what you thought you knew. And each scenario does something really excellently well, which is leaving you with questions for the next one. Every scenario finishes in a, in a cliffhanger, which makes you I want to find out more. I, you really get attached to this person. So, be very careful. Never ever turn them around until you've got to the end. Otherwise, you'll just spoil it. And trust me, if you do, the game is nowhere near as much fun. In the next and last video on this series, I will tell you my impressions about this game and why I so strongly feel that you should just get out of there and buy it by now. Seriously. Remember to subscribe to this channel to get a notification when that video is uploaded and when we upload more videos and give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and the next are ones to come. Thank you for being there and I'll talk to you very soon.